Hi, this is Marc Dubois from HaroTech. This fifth video in the Haro 3D library series presents an example of virtual reality application using the Oculus Rift Development Kit 2, the Microsoft Kinect V2, and the programming software LabVIEW from National Instruments. The Haro 3D library is a library of VIs for LabVIEW that gives access to data from the Microsoft Kinect V2 and now from the Oculus Rift Development Kit 2. The library also provides tools for the acquisition, analysis, and display of 3D data. For more information about the Haro 3D library, go to harotech.com. The application in this video is a demonstration of virtual reality that can be achieved with the Oculus Rift and the Microsoft Kinect, both shown here, using LabVIEW. The Oculus Rift can now be used in two display modes, direct mode or extend desktop mode. The direct mode provides better performance, but video data must be written directly to the Oculus video driver. Unfortunately, this mode cannot be used with the 3D picture tools provided by LabVIEW. However, it is possible to use the Extend Desktop mode. The Rift is then configured as a display in Windows and LabVIEW is directed to display the rendered images onto that display. In this mode, no special driver is therefore needed to render images on the headset. The Rift is equipped with a high-performance positional tracker based on 40 infrared LEDs integrated into the headset. The 40 infrared LEDs are normally not visible with the naked eye, but can be seen on most images acquired with CMOS cameras sensitive to near infrared as shown here. A camera acquires frame that makes position and orientation information about the headset available at 60 Hz. To access that information from within LabVIEW, a specific DLL was developed. The camera of the Oculus Rift Tracker was installed on top of the Microsoft Kinect, as shown here. The positional information from the Rift Tracker is not used, only the orientation information. The Kinect provides the positional information. The user is positioned at a distance of about 2 meters from the Kinect in a sitting position. The sitting position gives rise to some problems for the Kinect, along with the presence of the headset to recognize some gestures, but sitting is a requirement because of the possible user disorientation due to the headset. The application starts with a warning about safety and possible health effects. The user must acknowledge this message to start the application. Two images are rendered by LabVIEW, with differences corresponding to an interpopulary distance of 64 mm in the present case. Each image corresponds to one of the display of the Oculus Rift. It is not possible in this configuration to compensate within LabVIEW for lens distortions. Lens distortions have little to no impact in the present application, but would be an issue in application attempting to reproduce realistic human environments. For the benefit of this video, the image for one eye was rendered to a third larger window. The Rift Positional Tracker provides the user with the ability to look around the virtual world and even to look back at 180 degrees toward the rear of the spaceship. The user can also see the hands and legs of his avatar corresponding to his own hands and legs. The spaceship is orbiting around the Earth at a constant angular speed. The user controls the role of the spaceship by putting his two hands in the lasso, closed fist with the index and middle fingers extended, making a rotation movement clockwise or counterclockwise to roll the spaceship right or left. The roll of the spaceship can be stopped at any moment by opening both hands. The altitude is decreased by grabbing low and raising the right hand. During that gesture, it is better to close the left hand to prevent the Kinect from interpreting the gesture as the open hand's signal. The altitude is indicated in no particular units on the control panel of the spaceship. The opposite movement of the right hand, grabbing high and lowering the hand, increases the altitude. As it can be seen, no attempt was made to make this virtual world a realistic physical world.
In conclusion, this video shows that it is possible to take advantage of the 3D picture tools of LiveView to rapidly develop virtual reality applications using the Oculus Rift and the Microsoft Kinect. The lack of correction of lens distortion might be a problem for some application, but the ease of development associated with LiveView make it a tool worth exploring for target scientific and industrial application. The application shown in this video can be downloaded for free as an executable using a link given at harotech.com. Thank you for watching.